I have a very important question for you. I have a very important answer, Gigi. You're not still, you know, levitating people and devouring their souls, right? Nah. Well, I mean, I'm trying to cut back, so I think you're good. Cool, cool. Just can't be too careful nowadays. A second question, then. Shoot. You know that video game show Miz has Mr. Undisputed Champ and me hosting? No. I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Really? Our show is the undisputed best video game show out there. We play with WWE superstars and then stream it online. Hmm. Sounds a lot like Xavier Woods' show Up, Up, Down, Down. <clears throat> down Up, Down Up is a Mike Mizanin original production that is in no way related to Xavier Woods' inferior program. Did Miz have you memorize that? 100%. Anyway, I can see you're a fan. My doofus co-host apparently has big time Universal Champ stuff to do this week, and I'm looking for a fill-in. And you thought with my cloud and star quality, I'd be the perfect person to draft. You are so sweet. Um, well... Unfortunately, Alfie has me so busy, I just can't take on any more commitments. Really, Gigi, normally I would love to do your little show. That's so generous of you, but I was actually going to ask you about one of your kids from TBD Psycho Sally. What about her? She's making waves down in NXT, and I'd love to get the spotlight on an up-and-comer. You think she'd be any good? Psycho Sally would be the perfect choice. She's smart, she's edgy. You guys would have great chemistry. And honestly, I probably owe her after what I've put her through. Then get your pal Alfie to get her to the set. And no friends and family deals either. This is Miz we're talking about. Make sure your girl gets paid. I gotcha. Thanks, Gigi. I'll have Alfie send Sally right away. This is gonna be a blast. Sally, you made it. I'm stoked. Love what you're doing in NXT. <laughs> Thanks. I couldn't believe it when you asked. Opportunities around here are the weirdest, most random grab bag. You'll get used to it. So for on air, do you prefer Psycho or Sally? I guess I'll go with Psycho. Keep it edgy, right? What are we playing anyway? Alfie didn't mention. Right on. We're going to be playing WWE 2K24. Everything is meta, you know? Have you played? Of course. Even though I didn't make the roster this year, there's always next year, right? Honestly, a lot of talent in NXT doesn't, so don't take it personally. Uh, disc space or something, I don't know. But today, you're the guest, so you get the choice of who you'd like to play as in a classic match. So, Andre the Giant... Macho Man or China? China is one of the reasons I got into the business. I'd be so stoked to play as her. Awesome. I mean, it won't help when I'm beating you like a drum, but glad you're excited to be objectively humiliated on stream. Hey, that's trash talk. I'm great at trash talk. Save it for the ring, kid. I'm going to run and check in with our horrible producer. Then we'll get rolling. Seriously, relax. This is going to be a cakewalk. Easy money. <laughs> Thanks, Gigi. I thought you'd be meaner. Just suckering you in before the knives come out. Sally! Alfie Juniper! Super agent to the stars! Alfie! It's so cool to meet you in person after all those messages and calls. Though, you're not what I expected. Rarely am. Though I feel like I already know you, kid. The way Cap talks about you, oh boy does she have feelings. What does she say? What's important is that she said you were ready to be the star of this show. So tell me, what kind of on-camera wardrobe did you bring? Uh, wardrobe? I mean, I just wore this. 
that? <clears throat> well, um, it's definitely... Uh, uh, look, we'll workshop it after. The important thing is your personality! I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, what you see is what you get. <laughs> okay, major workshopping. We'll make it work, though. Here's the really important thing for today's taping. Kid friendly. Kid friendly? That's gosh darn right. This is a game show. Not a game show, but a show about games. You know who plays games, right? Pretty much everyone. I mean, the video game industry makes more money than movies these days. Really? That can't be true. No matter. You know who loves games, though. Kids. Children. Youths. Look at this set. This is obviously a show for the under 12 demo, and you got to play to your audience. I don't know. Gigi seems pretty edgy for a show for kids. Edgy schmedgy. You go out there and play it squeaky clean. This could lead to big things. Animation, variety. You could be the next purple dinosaur. Just keep it G-rated and watch the language. I guess... Gosh darn it, I'm in! Atta girl! Break a leg! It's the right night for a preposterous match as Psycho Sally, the craziest daredevil in NXT, plays as China, and I fight her with Eve Torres. I'm Gigi, and this is Down Up, Down Up, but with arrows. China was one of my inspirations. And we are here to inspire all of you beautiful children, because you're our future. It's going to be a long night. Are you literally trying to drive all five of our viewers away? fun. <laughs> Don't listen to Gigi, kids! She is 100% correct about that one. Holy cats! What a crazy move! I think 
if they can roll out an offer to come to SmackDown anytime soon. dream hold on with both hands and never let go you feeling after the big debut honestly not great are you sure down up down up is supposed to be a kids show i did what you said and Gigi didn't seem to like it one bit really she walked off set muttering something that was firmly not kid friendly okay so i may have heard some feedback from Gigi, and i think this was all some sort of miscommunication i've met its fences and convinced Gigi to give you another shot Okay, thank you, Alfie. And now that this is all sorted, I'll relax and be more myself. That just doesn't feel like me, so I'm glad we can drop the kid-friendly tone. Drop the kid-friendly tone? Heavens no! That was right on the money! The miscommunication was that I imply you were ready to go on air by yourself! This time, I'll be on set to help guide you. To guide me? <laughs> no need to thank me. I've got your back. Now that I've done some psychoanalysis on your whole vibe... Hey... That should be your catchphrase! Psycho-analysis! Uh, not sure that particular catchphrase is my vibe, Elfie. Really? That'd be great for building your brand. No matter, just keep it kid-friendly, on the show again, and do your thing. Oh, and Gigi wants to know who you uh, want to play as. Sure, I guess, Alfie. Is there anyone Gigi has in mind? Some really great options according to my internet search. Hulk Hogan, The Heart Foundation, Stone Cold Steven Austin. They all sound nice. Steve, Alfie, it's Steve Austin. Ah, okay. Well, take your pick. The bottom line, I'm playing a stone cold. No need to be so forceful, but okay. Psycho Sally wanted a rematch, so put on your party hats, because here we go with the match that started the biggest catchphrase in WWE history, Austin 316. The second biggest after today. My clients is the best ever. Really? Sally, wanna hit us with your dulcet words? I'm still, you know, working on it. No, you're not! Let her have it! I'm gonna put you in psychoanalysis. Yes, yes you are. 
Hey, you're cheating. Cheating is bad, and you should never do that. This is a children's show. This is in no way a children's show. You strange and exasperating little man. Well, we're certainly going to get some interesting comments on this episode. Quote, it's never too late to go back to bed. I don't know what you and your agent are trying to do to our show, but I have not been more embarrassed since, since I agreed to do a show for The Miz. I'm sorry, Alfie. He just tries. He tries very hard. Psychoanalysis? I don't think I've ever heard a person more thirsty to get a catchphrase over. But it wasn't just him, Miss Golly Wiz. Were you trying to tank our show? I wasn't. Alfie said it was a kid's show. Really? And you trusted him instead of your own instincts? Gee whiz, indeed. You're just as clueless as your agent. Listen, I'm sorry. 
Wait, you know what? No, I'm not sorry. Regardless of what went down, you can't just stand there berating me. I'm not going to be bullied by you over my performance on a video game show. That's fair, because we're also on a wrestling show, which means I get to go to my very best buddy, The Miz, general manager of SmackDown, and get him to make us a match, unless you're afraid of a little psychodrama. That's not my catchphrase. But fine. You want to fight? That's what I'm here to do. And you can bet it won't be kid-friendly. Where was that girl on my show? There she is! The woman of the hour, the up-and-coming star. What are you talking about, Alfie? Psycho-analysis. I got it trending online. I'm already talking to merch. And... Alfie, just stop, please. What, what's wrong? I saw you talking to Gigi and figured she was ready to get rid of her dud of a co-host and bring you in full time. Gigi Dolan is bringing me up to SmackDown to beat the hell out of me on live TV for ruining her show. Oh. Yeah. She left me a few voicemails. Miz too. And that Troy guy. And? Honestly, I could tell from the tone that it was bad news. But Alfie Juniper is a, a good news guy. So... This has all turned into a giant mess. Oh, gosh, kid. I'm sorry your dreams aren't coming true. Being a movie star isn't my dream, Alfie. And if it means changing my whole personality and jumping through hoops, I'm not interested. I'm a wrestler. I'm already living my dream. And you're gonna have a big match on SmackDown against one of their top stars? Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess I am. So, all in all, this has been a success? You know what? Maybe it has. I guess you're not the only one who can do a little psychoanalysis. Alfie! <laughs> A tornado of thrills, a whirlwind of wrestling, Psycho Sally. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, Psycho Sally. It's time to get psycho, Corey. I wish. For a person who calls herself psycho, Sally had better find that edge or her opponent tonight is going to send her right back to the asylum. Gigi Dolan ready for a fight, as always. And from Atlanta, Georgia, Gigi Dolan. She made a name for herself as a tag team competitor in NXT. Now on her own, but just as dangerous, has something to prove. Yeah, despite being underestimated and underappreciated, Gigi Dolan plans to change that perception. Gigi Dolan has the ability to be pretty imaginative in the ring. She says her creativity is how she expresses herself. These two short-lived co-hosts step into the ring as adversaries, proving once again that entertainment is a fickle business. Oh, you're telling me. A few weeks ago, these two were trading banter. Now they're trading blows. With how awkward Psycho Sally seemed on Down Up, Down Up, I'm just excited to see her back in the actual ring. That can prohibit any use of their shoulder going forward. <laughs> STO takedown. GG looking to go airborne. From the top, she comes up empty. Ooh. 
Snap Merritt over. Precise drop kick to the base of the skull. Incoming! Oh, right to the face. Shining wizard! Oh, drop kick. Right on the money. Very impressive array of strikes. It's a lunar one. Just a continuous rush on Gigi here. Gigi has to turn this around and quick. Oh my goodness, that was even worse. Is it enough? Getting the shoulder up before two tells me the end is not near. There's a wheelbarrow into the DDT. Dolan's toughness being put to the test. Yeah, Psycho Sally reminding her opponent she's not someone to take lightly. Working the arm and then a kick right to the ribs. Step over into a DDT. And into the count. And there's the kick out. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Uh-oh. Oh, flips the lever, shoulders down. The rope stopped the pin. She saw it coming. Takedown, skull first. And Sally is keeping the match at her pace. Gigi has to turn this around and quick. Dolan finding an opening. Gigi managing to find some of that needed breathing room. But she still has to do more to get this fully in her favor. Psycho Sally just taking a moment to soak it all in. Whoa. That was impressive. Things not going how she'd like. And hanging tough. Ooh, she'd had enough of that. And nice head scissors takedown. Just a continuous rush on Gigi here. Yeah, she's on the bad end of every maneuver. <laughs> Fighting back, however, punches in the midsection. Kick right in the face. Oof. Oh, look at this. Hair pulled mat slam. Oh, yeah. She is really getting fired up. And Gigi didn't see that coming. Running Hurricane Rana. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. Nice hip toss takedown. Whoa, that was nice. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Uh-oh. Way too from ring post to ring side, risking it all paid off. Thrown back in under the ropes. Enable to counter. This could be big. Going up high. Take off. Chance one more time and landing with incredible impact. And look at this. Standing Spanish fly. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Two. What a win. Here is your winner, Psycho Sally. GG Dolan processing this loss. Dolan defeated for now, but this is a woman who knows how to pick herself up.